Well, after 21,645 days on the throne, the Queen has just overtaken George III to become Britain's second longest reigning monarch. The palace told Channel 4 News it wasn't marking the event, but only Queen Victoria stayed in post longer. And by 2015, all being well, Queen Elizabeth will surpass her great-great-grandmother. Here's Katie Razzle. Celebrating in the grounds of Windsor Castle. As of today, the Queen is Britain's second longest serving monarch. But that's not why she's smiling. The scene instead, the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Sporting a range of her trademark headscarves and a change of coat, it was a good moment to check out the latest riding gear. One of her horses also won a couple of races. In terms of monarchs, the Queen now only has one to beat, that royal who trumps the rest, Queen Victoria. So how do the two compare? Victoria reigned for 63 years and 216 days. Queen Elizabeth has managed 59 years, 110 days. On the offspring front, Victoria keeps the crown. She had nine children and 42 grandchildren. Our Queen has four children and eight grandchildren, and one of those has just married a commoner. As for lands, Queen Elizabeth's Britain has 14 overseas territories, while Victoria was Queen of an empire amounting to about 12 million square miles, though that's not something to boast about these days. Elizabeth II became Queen in 1952, four years before this, when she opened Britain's first nuclear power station. It is with pride that I now open Calder Hall. The opening of a new synod is a moment when we can all give thanks. She's already our longest married monarch, unlike Queen Victoria, who reigned for 40 years without Prince Albert. She had these flirtations with John Brown and her favourite servant, the Munchie. That's not something we've seen Elizabeth II indulge in, best friendships with an Indian servant with whom she speaks Hindu. She keeps an absolutely rigid personal life. Her children may not, but she is utterly, utterly upright. The Queen's united, though, by a love of dogs. Victoria kept 35 of her favourite Pomeranians in the Royal Kennels. Queen Elizabeth has had 30 corgis and even introduced a new breed, the Dorgie. In terms of tipples, Queen Victoria's was said to be claret-laced with whiskey, while Queen Elizabeth is rather partial to a gin and Dubonnet, we're told. The national treasures of Queen Victoria's reign were the likes of Charles Darwin, Dickens and W.G. Grace. Who are they now? John Lennon, perhaps? Stephen Hawking? And maybe even David Beckham? Queen Victoria is most remembered for not being amused. The Queen all smiles at Prince William's wedding, and if she carries on this way, she'll overtake Victoria in three years. But spare a thought for Prince Charles. Last month, he broke a record himself for spending the longest time ever as heir to the British throne.